Okay, flip it around to the other side. Now this one can move a little bit and you can position it. But I want to keep it kind of, keep things low as possible. Makes it look a little better. Okay. Dress this up a bit. And there you have it. Let's get those wing nuts on there. Seem to be short one wing nut. All right, we'll find it later. So that's the hardware for the MOSFETs and the capacitors. Next thing I'm going to do is take the uh, template for the board, print it out actual size, and mark my four corners to drill for the, for the uh, supports that hold the board. So it's time to place the board. So I printed up the PDF that you use to make the board and that is um, if you make it yourself it's going to be exactly right if uh, if you buy the board um, you'll want to make sure that um, that the relationship lines up to the center of the pads on the board and just uh, hold it up to the light and look at uh, each of the round pads and make sure they line up to your board uh, it is possible to print a PDF that isn't a uh, one-to-one -one ratio or 100% of the original. Okay, so I took and uh, cut it out and then placed it about a sixteenth of an inch from this wall. And you can see the uh, pads for the pots there the three pots there, there, and there so I want to be able to uh, have the option to drill into the side of the wall here and um, put small holes in there um, you can always use the uh, vertical pot also and not have to drill any more holes So what I did is I poked a small hole center of each of the pads, in each of the corners, taped the board, the taped the uh, taped the layout onto the uh, onto the case, and then took that small point and just pushed it into the aluminum and mark that good. So I did that all the way around and then I'm going to pull out okay they're hard to see but I circled them with a pencil. So I got four of them.
So the next step will be to drill them out. All right, let's drill those holes. Now I've uh, I punched them, I marked them, punched them, and now I'm going to drill them with the pilot drill bit. Okay, so I finished drilling the pilot holes, and now we're just going to finish those off with a 764 bit. Perfect. Slips right in there. So, 